it has been twenty years since the second world war ended with the failure of the allied invasion of normandy a triumphant hitler declared victory over europe and the british empire the united states withdrew from the conflict listening to those like charles lindbergh who had argued against a war with germany in the east only the russians fought on in a bitter guerrilla war American efforts turned to retribution for Pearl Harbor. That came in the summer of 1945 with victory over Japan. By then, American General Eisenhower had returned from Europe to the United States and a humiliating retirement. In 1947, King Edward and Queen Wallace assumed the British throne. Winston Churchill, who had barely escaped with his life after Normandy, died in exile in Canada in May 1953. In the years after the war, country after country of the old Europe had become part of the vast Nazi empire of Germania. The Führer's architect, Albert Speer, built a monument to the thousand-year Reich. Germania's capital, Berlin, became a Nazi showplace. The SS became a peacetime police force, patrolling clean and orderly streets. As the 50s came to a close, Hitler was able to put a more civilized face on the Greater Reich. But news continued to be tightly controlled. The 60s began with the war with the Soviet Union still dragging on. Hitler desperately needed to conclude a formal peace with the United States and forge an alliance against the Russians, still led by the 85-year-old Joseph Stalin. Hitler saw signs for hope in late 1960 with the election of a new president of the United States. The Fuhrer believed with President Joseph Kennedy Sr. in office, at last there was someone with whom a deal could be struck. Now, in 1964, for the first time in 20 years, Germania's borders are opening to the Americans. The world press has been invited to cover the Führer's birthday celebration on April 20th. There are rumors that President Kennedy will attend a Germanian-American summit conference. An alliance with America would assure Germania's invulnerability. But there are other more persistent rumors that could threaten Hitler's plans. There were stories that something terrible happened in Germany during the war. That the official Nazi story that Jews and other minorities had been relocated to the East wasn't true. There are also rumors that in the Greater Reich, terrible things are still happening. Television, radio and newspapers are all controlled by the powerful Ministry of Information. Nobody in the New Berlin dares to ask awkward questions. In the back of the black sedan, I contemplate my fate through the eyes of a simple man. Me free. 